are beautiful. You are strong. You are love. You deserve to have the life you desire. It doesn't matter what others say about you. It's about what you say about you. You are worthy. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You are what you think. Today I decided to be a little more comfortable. I have my blankets and I'm chilling on my couch. But um, today's topic I'd like to discuss is facing yourself. And that kind of starts with looking in the mirror, observing what it is you see in detail, in silence. And I feel like this is a task that may be difficult for some because not everyone's able to truly face themselves, the person that they've become and or are at this day and time. But you have to be able to face yourself because the irony is people expect other people to face them, but they can't truly stand their own reflection. And that's not healthy. So you have to work on being able to face yourself. And I feel like it's super important because we are the image that the world sees. We are spiritual beings. And so if you can't face yourself, you have a lot of healing work to do. You have a lot of work to do. And that's okay. You know, no one's perfect. But you have to start somewhere. And so I actually challenge you to try it and see how it works for you. What do you see? Are you embracing your features, your differences, the different quirks that you may have that are different from others that make you stand out? It's very important because how you see you is how the world sees you. Okay, and so I feel like as people, we don't understand that we actually carry the image of how we see ourselves on us and that kind of that our energy, our orc field gets onto other people or they can feel that and they treat us accordingly. How we carry ourselves, people treat us accordingly. And so if you aren't being treated how you like to be treated, then you might want to change the way you carry yourself. You may want to start changing the way you think about yourself, change the way you may feel. Everything is energy, everything. And you wanna be treated the way you wanna be treated, with respect, kindness, I'm going to leave that with you and go into how we are our own competition. I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm at I'm in competition with this person or I'm at work and I have I'm up in competition with this other um, co-worker of mine. Realize that you are your own competition, whether it's at work at home, in business, and in life. You control your destiny and you control the outcome of what happens. So, I feel like understanding that allows you to always work on self-improvement. There's always room for improvement in our lives, different areas of our lives. So stop looking outside, guys. Stop looking outwards for acceptance, for the okay to be amazing, to go the extra mile. When we work on ourselves, you know, and work on just improving ourselves every day, we just become that much better. And instead of looking outward, we're looking inward and we're overall improving ourselves as human beings on this planet our contribution to the world will be that much better when we are always always working on ourselves so remember that it is you who is in control 
of your life. You are your own competition. You have to be able to face yourself because you have to be able to love yourself entirely, every aspect of who you are. And if you don't love yourself right now, that is okay. You are not alone. But you do have to start taking the steps so that you will be able to truly love yourself and all that you see in the mirror. Remember, you create your own destiny. Peace and love. Until next time, live well.